Hello YouTube, this is Dark Emissary 617 and as you can see here, I have before me the uh, Takara Tomi, I believe it is, the Pokemon Center plushie of Joltik. So, Joltik here has gotten, once again, another plush for his very adorable self. Before we take a good look at this cute little bug, let's get a good look at that tag. As you can see here, this is Joltik, the Pokemon Center plush that was released of this year. And you can see the adorable artwork of this super cute bug Pokemon. Down here you have all your copyrights and all that, and then you have the name in Japanese, which is Bachiru. And on the back, just more detailed stuff about the plush and the company itself and all that. So, anyways, let's get a good look at Jiltic. Oh my gosh, this thing is so cute. Like, it hurts your eyes at how cute he is. Like, look at this thing. Like, it is just so adorable. It's this nice yellow and... Fun fact, I think this may be like his uh, fifth or sixth plush. Because there was an old Halloween Pokemon Center plush. There was the MPC My Pokemon Collection plush version of Joltik, which I have done reviews of those two if you want to check out those reviews on my channel. There was another Halloween plush with him attached to a spider web, and then there was another one that vibrated by pulling on the web in his mouth, and it would vibrate. And now we have this one. So yeah, it's been five Joltik plushies total on this guy. I am impressed. For a Unova Pokemon, this guy did wonderful with productivity. Yet no MC Monster Collection figure, sadly, even though Galvantula is loved by many. So aside from all that though, this guy is just so cute. As you should know, he is a Bug Electric type from the Unova region, and he evolves into Galvantula at level 36, I believe. So. What's there not to love of this guy? I mean, look at him. He has these big blue eyes. He has four of them. He has this little tiny mouth that you can actually move, and his hair all over his head can actually move a bit too. If I try to push it down so it doesn't get all bent out of shape. And he has these very stubby little legs, and his feet is somewhat of a different... Toes are like a little material different from the... Rest of the plush. Everything else is so soft, but he has a bit of like fuzzy toes there. As you can see, and it is just so cute. He has the little brown pouch on his stomach, which is said that this pouch underneath him is what helps him absorb electricity. And it is just so cute, it hurts to look at this guy. He has a little hair on his back, and there's the tush tag. Just your typical Pokemon Center tag and some more information there. And he stands up very well, as you can tell. I mean, if you really want, you could like, kind of like, he like uh, rolls a bit. And according to what I've heard, this plushie and cutie fly are actually marketed as apparently life-sized plushies, which Makes sense, according to the Pokédex in the games. He is said to be four inches, apparently. Which is why he can fit in the palm of your hand. Just look at that size, it's so cute. Also, for a size comparison, here's another plush I'm going to be doing a review of very soon. Is another very cute bug Pokémon named Cutie Fly. And you can tell, these two are like, really good buddies. Cutie Fly doesn't stand well, for obvious reasons, because, well, he has these little stringy feet, but I'll get to him in another, on another day. But, yeah, as you can see. So, should you pick this guy up? Absolutely. This guy is just so adorable. Like, he's also extremely soft, as you can see here. He's very fluffy. It's really hard to not compliment how cute this guy can be. So, 
I do recommend you pick this guy up. He's available on the Pokemon Cent at Pokemon Center. I have no idea if he's going to come over to America, unfortunately. But I hope he does, and maybe go on, like, the Pokemon Center website. But if you check online in places like eBay and all that, it should be not too hard to find this plush at the moment, because he's actually very, um, new, of course. So he'll be around in stores for a while online, so... Get him while you can. I highly recommend you pick him up, and he is just so cute. So, this has been my review for the Pokemon Center Takartomi. I still think that's what it is. A uh, Pokemon exclusive plush of Joltik, and this is Dark Emissary 617 signing out.